My name is Eloisa Perez Lozano, and I'm a Mexican American poet and writer. And um, I also am the events and publicity coordinator for Activo Press, uh, and we publish Hispanic Latino literature by and for Latinos. So, um, uh, part of my inspiration to continue writing and to continue trying to get published is my job. Um, it's really motivating to read great work and see it get accepted and then um, I help uh, put together uh, the wording for brochures and publicity materials and I um, share our informa information of our books and the positive reviews and stuff on social media. So. It's just very rewarding and very motivating to see their work making it to us and then making it out there and having people say good things about it and uh, so yeah, that's part of my inspiration. Um, another part of um, my inspiration is uh, just, I guess, write what you know. I'm mm -hmm. sure you've heard that before. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, I write mostly about my um, Mexican-American experience growing up. I grew up here in Houston um, since the age of five and um, so just interactions that I've had throughout my life, people I've met, um, working with others um, like my master's project for example I worked with three immigrant families in Iowa. I went to school at Iowa State University for my undergrad and graduate degrees and so kind of my experience in relation to um, other Mexican or Mexican American experiences um, and most recently I became a mom. I have a one year old and so that definitely has opened up another uh, place to draw inspiration from and um, just Mm, just moments in in life, things I read. Uh, Mexican American experience growing up. I grew up here in Houston um, since the age of five, and um, so just interactions that I've had throughout my life, people I've met, um, working with others, um, like my master's project, for example, I worked with three immigrant families in Iowa. I went to school at Iowa State University for my undergrad and graduate degrees. And so kind of my experience in relation to um, other Mexican or Mexican American experiences. Um, and most recently I became a mom. I have a one year old. And so that definitely has opened up another uh, place to draw inspiration from and um, just mm, just moments in, in life, things I read. Um, so yeah. Perfect. Who are some authors that have inspired you? Oh gosh. <laughs> I know it's uh, a tough you one. Might, you might want to put a limit on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Judith Ortiz Cofer is one. Um, she's a Puerto Rican poet. Uh, she actually passed away last year, mm -hmm. unfortunately, but we published a number of her books and her writing is just very beautiful but still accessible. And so um, that's kind of what I try to do with my poems is um, try to, for them to be as beautiful or as tragic or whatever the mood of the poem is supposed to be, but to write it in such a way that somebody who doesn't study poetry or doesn't read poetry regularly can still understand and hopefully it would resonate with them. So that's one. Judith Ortiz Kofer. Um, To me, it means it means being proud of where you come from through your family and where you were born, uh, honoring both cultures and traditions, and having the ability to kind of see them interact 
with each other um, <clears throat> in different situations and choose which one of like the to me it's a lot of people will say well you it's either all or nothing and to me it's like no there's things about both that I either love or that I'm not such a big fan of so um, with certain things being able to kind of critically see what's going on maybe this is getting too meta but um, <laughs> For me, it's, uh, it's appreciating things from both cultures. What do you want to achieve with your writing? What is the theme? What do you want the takeaway to be? Um, I guess it depends on the poem. Um, for poems about my own Mexican-American experience, um, I think that they're typic there's there are a lot of common themes in a lot of <clears throat> Mexican American Mexican um, poetry and and stories and narratives, and so mine I, is a little bit different, I think. And so, like in the poem I'll read for you today, it's kind of contrasting, showing another side mm -hmm. of that narrative. So um, the themes that I'm thinking of are poverty, immigration, um, maybe abuse, um, struggling with the language, uh, anything kind of around those lines. Um, that was not my experience and so I grew up in a suburb of Houston um, and I went to college. My parents are both highly educated. They're immigrants, they're both from Mexico, but they both have um, higher ed degrees and so I didn't have any trouble applying to college. Um, they always encouraged me to go to college. Um, I never had to work to help out the family. So I guess not going through the the struggles that are mainly associated with the Mexican-American Mexican -American experience. That's kind of um, the theme of my work when it relates to my personal experience. <laughs> Um, so there's that, and then the takeaway in general, I guess, um, I'd like for people to, I'd like for people to understand the poems and to be able to relate to them in some way, um, whether it's something from <clears throat> my mixed American experience or something about being a mother or something completely unrelated, um, like uh, I wrote a poem about a, a classmate of mine, I took a poetry class at a University of Houston Clear Lake a few years ago, and she spoke Arabic. Um, the class was in English, but on the last day, um, the professor asked if she would read something, um, a, a poem in Arabic, and it was just so beautiful. and it just really moved me and so I wrote something um, about how her speaking in English was different from her speaking in Arabic and the contrast of that and how easily it just kind of flowed out of her and so yeah just kind of hoping that something in in my poems um, will be relatable in some way to somebody and that it'll you know make them think or make them think, hey, I'm not alone, or oh, someone else has also felt this way.